guys. We came across this place here and we got permission to metal detect. Take a look at this. This is old. I mean, this is an old building. Ben uh, found a, I don't know if it's whiskey or apple cider vinegar or what it might be, but a couple of bottles down here. He's got one in his hand there. He's got another one that's still got some liquid in it. I don't know what that is. It's leaking. Uh, it says one gallon. Uh, it doesn't even smell anymore, whatever's leaking out of it. But just, just kind of exploring around right now. I'm sure somebody lived here until about the 60s or 70s. But there's this box down here. Got some pie tins and stuff in it. Um, who knows what's what's all here? Got to be careful. Let's uh, take a walk here, and I'll uh, kind of show you what else. Here's a outhouse. Probably where all the bottles are <laughs> down the hole. But this thing is pretty tattered. really happy to have found this. Uh, took some while to trace down the guy that owned the, the place, but uh, look at this. This is the old house. And I'll just give you a view. Okay, this is the back of the house here. If you take a look. buildings and barns over there. Let's just take a walk around here a little bit. Uh, take a look at the farm equipment here. Some old stuff there. Back over here is another piece of farm equipment. I can't tell you what they are, but and lady that lived here planted some flowers. But here's the side of the house. It's got a downstairs. Better be careful, man. The bees are out right now. So anyway, there's the back room. Uh, the main part of the house. Um, you can see down there. There's the downstairs down there. But see if we can get through here. All right, trying to work my way through to So, we got a front porch here. Back up so you can see it. All right, front porch. And as you walk up here, I'm not gonna go inside because this is, for one, the landowner wouldn't want me to. Number two, that's pretty dangerous in there. Everything's falling through, but there's the downstairs. If you look in here, the, the floor is all rotted out. The kitchen's in there. But pretty neat. Somebody's uh, shirt still hanging there from many moons ago. Huh. The stories these places could tell if they could only speak. Let's uh, explore around a little bit more. There's another building right over here. I don't know if you guys are kind of walking through this with you. Just exploring this, this homestead, but 
I'm not even sure I'm going to edit this. I may just put this out there raw for you guys. I don't know. We'll see. But look at this. Look at this old building. This thing is in poor shape. It looks like it must have been the chicken coop or something. That's quite the chicken coop, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe they just had chicken wire. I don't know what it would have been. <clears throat> but... Here's the door. This place is just falling in. I would really like to know what this dates back to. Whoa, I almost fell. Tripping over branches and stuff. Look at this old fence. I see something hanging on the fence back there too. Oh, it's some cable. Quite a bit of water right here. Let's see if I can get through here without sinking my belly button. All grass right here. That's, look at the rollers on that door. That door used to roll open. This was the tack room. Bunch of horse tack and stuff still in there. Well, this is just neat. You guys, the stuff like this right here, just a treasure in itself. I mean, right now, I don't even have the detector in my hand. I'm just enjoying what, what I'm seeing here. Just kind of taking a step back in time. Not sure what this used to be, but look at look how the foundation was. Little logs there, it had some blocks supporting it. This must be a little woodshed. You can see some blocks of kindling and stuff like that back in there. Some fencing. Sure, it'd be nice to be able to step back and just meet who lived here and what do we got here? This must have been like a, uh, a feeder trough or something like that. Another look at the house back up that way. And Ben's up there with his metal detector. See the old windmill back up there? All right, let's see if we can take a look at this one. This old barn made out of logs. It's an old building. I'm actually going to step inside here. So, there's all kinds of, look at this. What do you guys suppose, I mean this had to be just the barn, but I've never seen where they put the logs through the middle like this.
think a hay elevator must have come up there or something. They probably stacked the hay up so far and then started running the hay elevator up through there to finish stacking out this barn. This is just really neat. A lot of work went into this. Slider door here. This one looks a little more modern. I don't know what how old that rail is. I've got the same kind of rail on the shop at my house. Wow, this is yeah, this is newer here. This is an add-on. So they added on to the old log building. And this is a newer newer part so anyway let's go over to one of the older buildings okay there's this building here another old barn or something take a look oh wow burlap sacks are still in here all right, let's take a look. Hmm. Huh. It's like these are just feeders in here. There's another model. <laughs> Broken. Hmm. Well, this is where they were using the curry comb and the bag bomb. I don't know what you find in these old places, huh? And we got the old Hanes up there. Let's go over the horse's neck. This is really, really neat. Ben. <coughs> Those collars go over a horse's neck and then there was a piece of it. They're called hanes that went up over around those. And uh, they were made for teams pulling wagons. Alright, we got a little more horse tack over here. Um I'm not sure what that one would have been too. Maybe it's an old britchin or something. There's still a bunch of tack in here. Chains. Look at these parts for, these are old parts for pulling wagons and stuff. Look at that. Old lantern. Is that a lantern? No, that's, no, that's not a lantern. But take a look at these pieces here, I mean, Lots of old wagon parts and stuff like that. Just up here in the rafters of this building. It is beautiful. See more stuff up here. This is what I call treasure. I'm really glad nobody's come in here and ransacked all this. It's just not, it's not, not cool. Some people just don't have any respect for stuff like this. They take and probably clean this out. And well, we were given permission, and we're going to respect the landowner, and we're going to take a look at all this and enjoy it, and be thankful we were able to be a part of this. Look at this Got a shelf here with a bunch of old stuff on it. Lots of stuff down here on the floor. Old pieces of bits of iron and 
who knows just really really neat i love history all right you guys take a look at this here check this out you know what that is that is a fishing reel that is an old probably a fly rod reel and it still still moves but that is an old fishing reel i don't know i don't see any riding on it yet That's neat. Oh wait, there is some writing. Down here on the... I'm gonna have to probably get home and check this out, you guys, because trying to film and with the shadows and everything else, I'm not being able to read this. But that is a neat find. I like that, that fishing reel there. We'll get a better look at it at home. I'm afraid I'm not getting very good video of it here. All right, let's keep hunting. This is a neat place. All right, so got a signal and this here is a wristwatch. Having trouble, man, this sunshine is beating down. Anyway, that's a little wristwatch there. Well, I don't know if it's old. It was down pretty deep, so I don't know when wristwatches came out. Maybe later I can get some writing off of this or something and see just when it was made. All right, so I got a really loud signal here. I'm not sure exactly why it was so loud, because I see a coin. But I haven't seen what it is yet. It almost looks like that's penny size. That's pretty crusty. I mean, that's a wheat back. Yeah, I got a wheat scent. So, I'll take that. That's the first coin at this place. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get a date off of that. That's uh, here, here in the sunshine. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty crusty, but that is a wheat sand. Okay, Ben just found an old lighter. This is the old, uh, what, they, what were they, kerosene lighters? Um, but anyway, uh, it's got Ben Franklin on it and stuff. This one's... Got the top of it as well. That first thing I found the top of it first, and then I found the uh, bottom of it. That's neat. I'll try to get a picture of the. See if we can see Franklin on there. I don't know if you guys can make that out at all. It's pretty, uh, pretty fragile, I guess. But that's an old lighter there. Good job, Ben. Thanks. All right, you guys, I just want to thank you for joining us on this adventure. I really loved that place out there, and we didn't really spend much time metal detecting. I just got intrigued with the, with the old place and thought I would give you a tour. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please like, subscribe, and share this video, you guys. Um, and we're going to be back there, I'm sure, at, at some point to do some more metal detecting there. But uh, anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.